Hello once again and welcome. I'm Dr. Vyas with New Wave Wellness Center and it's back to school time. And this is a time where this year especially we are facing a lot of uncertainty. We are looking at this as a whole different feel. We're going into a new territory I'd say. So with everyone from teachers to parents to children or kids or your students not quite being able to understand and handle how to deal with this whole upcoming year. Today I brought in Dr. Ness. He actually works right six feet away from our office and uh, he is a clinical psychologist that specializes in handling cases with uh, children, adolescents and uh, parents Yes, and has been in this industry for over 25 years. So we'll ask him a few questions and at least he'll help guide us how to maybe you know maneuver this whole sure, school sure. year. So yeah. what do you think about this? whole situation where yeah. thanks for the introduction sure. thanks for having me yes I am six feet away Welcome, and maintaining right? <laughs> uh, distance and CDC guidelines uh, this is a year and it's been the last year it's been like no other you know you as meant you had mentioned I've been in the field 25 years uh, psychologist uh, high school principal assistant principal uh, and we have handled crisis for years right. in many different forms but this it's pandemic right. has brought on a anxiety for everyone parents kids uh, that maybe normally before pre-pandemic maybe it had mild or no symptoms and now you're, you're seeing a lot of uncertainty with the school year and right there's so many mixed messages which increases the anxiety there's a lot of unknown uh, factors in going back to school so if the parents become anxious the kids become right. anxious as That's well and it becomes a cycle and so what I'm talking with a lot of the parents and families and uh, kids about is just getting a routine and structure in place before the school starts. Uh, with summer, kids are going to bed later, they're playing a lot of video games. Yeah, exactly, we all know that. Yes. yes, and even in my own house, I have three right. kids as well that go to schools locally here. Um, and so trying to regain that structure and to me the morning's the most important. I talk to my families about winning the morning. That nice. means about getting up on time, having right. uh, routines, you know, making their bed, cleaning up their area, making sure now with the e-learning that their space is clear. Right. So clear space, clear mind, and you know, and it's going to take some time. And also before even getting up, we talk a lot about you know our sleep wake cycle, and so. With the summer, the bedtimes have been right. increasingly been moving towards right. midnight. Um, now trying to get hold of that uh, routine and structure from Sunday night through Friday exactly. um, and getting the kids sleep. So again, in the morning, they're not as cranky, they're not as anxious. Again, their, their thinking's clear uh, and they're ready to get going with the school year. Um, what's also happened with the CDC and the guidelines where they've you know, prohibited a lot of the, uh, the gatherings, you know, and the right. groups and the extracurriculars. Right. And again, we're, we seem to be rolling back on some of the uh, athletics and things that kids normally do. It's unfortunate, uh, but yes, that's what's happening this time as well. Self-care. And so making sure that we're getting exercise, right. uh, we're getting, whether that's walking, jogging, you know, uh, working out in our home gyms if we have that. Uh, I know the local Y here has opened up with some certain guidelines. Right. People are, you know, they're uh, different on their uh, comfort level with that. But uh, they're just moving. Just moving, right. just move. And there's so much research right now. American Psychological Association has just come out with some research about the increasing depression and anxiety levels in children and adolescents. Uh, there was another um, research that came out of the University of Wisconsin uh, just over the weekend about overall satisfaction with mm -hmm. mental health and right. the rates that Very people are self-reporting are declining. Right. And that's why self-care exercise helps mood. And so that's critical as well. And I think also mindset. That's you know, a big one. Uh, meditation while you're walking, while you're exercising. And we had talked about this prior right. to uh, our video conference, but just breathing. Simple as breathing. We've talked about that and there we go. We are hearing from Dr. Ness. Simple stuff as breathing does reduce a lot of the anxiety feel, right? Absolutely. And it, it regains our mindfulness and our, our focus there as we well. Uh, right. I think with anxiety, we escalate in, into what I, I call the red zone, where we get into that emotional mindset right. where we're irrational, we react, we don't think as well. Um, Again, I, I work with these fa our families and say, we've never made a good decision when we're angry. You know, 100% of the time. Very never. true. So mindfulness and breathing helps kind of center ourselves and stay neutral to positive right. and regain that, that composure. Uh, and I think that, uh, especially when we're feeling anxious, 
and, and with school coming up uh, and with the unknowns and the, again, the, the information that keeps trickling down or across, um, I think that utilizing all of this, uh, all of these strategies can be very helpful in navigating and Wonderful. you know, really day by day. Taking it day by day, that's all we can do right now, right? Because again, day. we don't know what's happening, we don't know what's coming up. So it's definitely something. And just talking about that whole day by day, because I know, yes, we said the students and everybody's all anxious about this thing. I know you had mentioned something about the moms. We don't address, or moms don't address them themselves, but we've seen that a lot of times in our office. We get everyone saying, I'm just taking care of the whole family, but what about yourself? Well, nobody has time for that, or they don't seem to have time for that. Yeah. So what do you suggest for that? Well, we talk, we talk, we, we, we call that compassion fatigue. I love that, compassionate and, fatigue. And, and, and moms are notorious for, from suffering from this because they're taking care of everybody. Right. And they're organizing everything and they are the one air traffic controller, the only one up in the traffic tower. <laughs> right. And that's exhausting. Right. And that self-care piece for the moms is it sometimes gets put to the side. And with a structure and a routine each week, moms, especially have to be very specific about putting in time for themselves, whether right. that's reading, that's writing, that's connecting with friends, family, um, just getting out right. and also delegating. You know, they don't have to own everything in the house. They can't own all the schedules. Right. Delegate out to dad, delegate out <laughs> yeah. to the kids. <laughs> right. And I got to follow my own advice right, here, I know. Doc. <laughs> uh, but I think that's really important. Uh, and so that there's that release. And so they're not, you know, waking every morning with that stress and pressure and being overwhelmed. Right. Right. So a uh, little self-care, Give moms need to give themselves some grace and uh, some time for themselves and uh, giving permission to get out and, and have a mom's Enjoy, girls, right, night a girls night out. I was going to exactly. say, right? It's that a good thing for goes them to do that. Way. So that's wonderful. So we learned a few things right now. I know these are topics that we could talk over and over for hours right now about, because again, the way you said, there's so much that we're dealing with and so much that we don't know yet. And we're just learning as we go with these days right now. Correct. So what we have decided is we're going to invite Dr. Ness one more time again, if he's willing to do that. Absolutely. And he'll come over and we'll go over some more topics. So again, if you have any questions or comments, post them below. We'll have Dr. Ness address them. We'll address them. And you know that we do a lot of different testing. Dr. Ness does some testing. We do neurotransmitter testing in our office to help correct some of these imbalances or even help show you how we can help address these things without having to resort to anti, you know, anxiety medications and some of those things. So again, any questions or comments, please post them below. And again, thank you very much, Dr. Ness. Hey, you're We're looking forward to you know, a few more talks with you here. And uh, as always, we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.